Okay, this video is entitled Change My IP Location. Now, why would I want to change the location of my IP address? Well, simply speaking, there's a system called geotargeting or geolocation that um, is used increasingly over the internet. And basically, every website you visit looks up your IP address before deciding what you can see or what you can't see. So, for instance, when you go to Google, Google looks up your location. If you're in the US, you get the US version of Google. The UK, you get the UK version of Google, and, and so on. Now, that works fine, but many, many sites actually use this information to block you. All the US media sites only allow access to US IP addresses, for instance. In the UK, you've got to, be, you've got to have a British IP address to... Um, watch the BBC online or any of the other UK TV stations. Same goes for in France, um, M6 Replay, Canadian TV, Australian TV. They're all restricted to the specific country. So being able to change my IP location actually is incredibly useful nowadays. And it, it opens up a whole new range of websites that you can't normally see. So let's just give a quick example. If I go over to Hulu here and um, try and watch the a clip from the site, or it's just one of this is. I'm not sure what this is, some sort of cartoon. Let's just play. Um, it basically has looked up my IP address. He'd seen I'm not in the US, and it's given me this address, uh, this um, error message. Okay, so I can't watch it. I'm in the UK. I can, however, watch iPlayer. Um, I can watch live British TV because I've got a British t uh, IP address. <clears throat> now, I'm going to show you how I can change my IP location. Okay, so currently it's in the UK, because I'm in the UK. Now you use, well I use, a system called Identity Cloaker. This is basically, a, uh, I pay a small subscription to this company for this service. It's a piece of software that sits in my um, toolbar and can switch the location of my computer at will. Okay. Um, it also works on um, iPads and um, tablets, phones, smartphones, TVs. Um, you have set up manually here but with a PC or a laptop. You just use the software. Um, you can see here there's loads of different servers in different directions. I blurred these out because it's best to keep them hidden so they don't get blocked by the media providers. Uh, and I'm going to switch over now and make it look as though my computer is in the US. So all I need to do is click on a US flag here, and it's a US server. Let's just click one of those. And that will route my entire connection through this Identity Cloaker's US server. And any website I go to will think I'm in the US. Now, just to demonstrate this, I'm going to restart Hulu again, and we'll try and go and watch the video that um, I watched before. Um, I don't know if you notice now, I've gone to google.com, which is the US version. That's because he thinks I'm in the US. I would normally get google.co.uk. All right, Hulu. There we go. That's Hulu. I'm going to the Hulu. Remember, this is, this is uh, routing my connection all the way through the US. You can see it's a commercial service. It's very, very fast. So basically, it'll be the normal speed. It doesn't slow my connection, which isn't the fastest, I might add, down very much. Uh, and let's go and what well, this is what we watch this cartoon um, this time because I've changed my IP location uh, to the US I can click on it and I shouldn't get the error message it should start playing now you can see it's gonna run I'm gonna pause it quite quickly because um, YouTube block your videos if you play too much of somebody's content but that's it it's changed my location um, as far as Hulu is aware it can't see where I'm from it's a very secure connection and it just looks like I'm in the US. If I wanted to watch CTV in Canada, I'd go over and switch to a Canadian server. Um, ABC in Australia, switch that. I use it commonly to switch my version of Netflix. I normally get the UK version of Netflix. They're all actually different. If I fire up um, Identical Oker, click on a US server, I get the US version of Netflix, which has got thousands more videos. So that's how I change my IP location. Um, there's a little discount link in the video here if you want to try Identity Cloaker. There are loads of others. Um, I use that. Um, it seemed to be one of the cheapest, and it's been around longer than any of them. Uh, and I'm very happy with it. But there are loads of others. Um, 
make sure you try them out first because the speed of these servers is vital because if you're streaming video particularly um, if it's not a fast server and you're routing your connection a long way um, the video is going to stutter and buffer and all that sort of stuff okay well i'm going to finish now thank you for watching my video i hope it's been of some use to you bye bye